Hi everyone, welcome back to another drawing video. So today I'm going to be doing uh, Captain Levi Ackerman from Attack on Titan. So we're going to start as usual with his right eye. So you're going to find about the middle of your page, come over to the right, and we're going to start with his top eyelid. So it's real flat because he's got that sort of, I don't know, real bored look or like he, that I don't care look. So it's a real flat eyelid, comes across, just like that. And there's a little point just in here. And then this is gonna curve around underneath and touch that other edge. Then in there we have the iris and the pupil. So we have a semicircle, comes around and then the pupil in there. You can see just another line for his eyelid just here on the bottom. And then another line just up here for the top of that eyelid. Comes up, comes across. It's real thin at the end. And of course this goes under here because he has some fringe that comes down. So this comes down this direction and then there's just another thin line just across here for the top of his eyelid just there. Then we have his eyebrow. So it just comes up from his nose this way. And then we're gonna bring this flat across here. Comes up real long. And then it's just slightly thicker just on this end. It points up a bit. Just like that. Now we can come over and we're doing something similar just on the other side. So just about an eye distance over. So if you measure from this part of the eye to here, come over that distance again and start the next eye. So we'll do this top eyelid again. So it comes up real flat. Cross. Just like that. He has that point in there, just like here. And then the bottom eyelid curving around and up to there. Then we have the iris, semicircle, because most of his eye is covered, and then the pupil just in there. Then we have top line of his eyelid again. So it's just in here, comes up, comes across, just across like that. And then we have another line just in there, real thin. And then we have his eyebrow, just above that. This one doesn't run down towards his nose. It's just starts here and then curves across. Just there and it's thicker on this end. So what gives him that like, he doesn't care attitude sort of look on his face is all those like straight lines across, see that? Just not impressed. And then we have a line just there for his brow, sort of a frown line. And then we'll come down and do his nose, very simple, down around here. So you measure your eyes, it's about the distance here, so if you measured from the eyebrow to the bottom of the eye, went down again. That's where his nose is, just the tip of it, just down here. So it's about that distance. And then we have a nostril. Very simple, just like that. Just gonna make this a bit pointier. And then his mouth is kind of, he's like grimacing, his mouth is kind of semi-open. So we just come down from the nose a bit, and then we're gonna just bring this up like that. And then this comes down. And then this will come around on this side, over to here like that, and we can just see some teeth. So this is dark. And you leave this white just to show those teeth just in there. 
And then just a line under there to show his bottom lip. And then his chin is just down here, real pointy. So we have a curve line just there for his real pointy chin. And this will come up on this side to his jaw. And this will come up on this side to his jaw on the other side. And these will curve up towards his ears and his sideburns. So this comes up. And then this comes up. And then we have his ears just in here. So we have th this ear has some hair in front of it. So we'll just do a spike. And then the ear. And then there we can do some just bones and ligaments. Lines any way you'd like. If you have a personal way of doing that. And then the other ear is just here. We can see the top of this ear comes down there. And then lines for the bones and ligaments and things in there. Of course, if I go too fast, guys, slow down the video, pause it. Use a pencil and eraser first, and then ink after, I would recommend. So now his hair, so he's simple sort of style. He's some fringe coming down this side, less fringe on this side, and then it just curves around to a part in the middle on top of his head up here. So we will do the spikes, the fringe, I suppose, first. The spike gets longer. This comes down here, just past his eye. This will come up like that. And then some thinner ones. One here, comes up, a long one. Some of them come down right and touch the top of his eye and then come up. This one comes down to about there. Comes up, comes in. And then we have just his sort of hairline section. So just like here, so it's like a curved line and it has different hairlines inside, spikes of black hair just there. And then this will travel over the other side. So he's very spikes of black hair that curve around going in this direction. And then this will come down, spike right down beside his eye, come back up, come down to there, come back up, come down to here, to his ear. And then this will come up around his head, so we have some spikes here, just there. And same over here, we have some spikes of hair that are curving up around. And this will come all the way around. So we'll bring this real big around. Ooh. Bring it up and around. So this comes to a bump just above this part in his hair. See that? So just above there, we have a bump and then a bump out like that. And then this will come all the way down to there. Okay, so his neck. We have a line just here for his neck. Same on the other side. And then he has that cravat that he wears on his neck, just going around it. So we'll do a line coming out from his neck, just here. And then this will bump up around for that top of that um, neck cravat or is it neckerchief I'm not sure what it's called so it just bumps up like this sort of bumpy and then it'll come down the side just down to there and go off my page this one comes down just about to there goes down and then we have very fold lines inside so lines for the fold of it and then we'll do the same sort of line around the other side going around his neck and then there's the other side of that and the other side of that piece of his neck cravat there as well. So he has a shirt on and his military jacket also. So, so we did his cravat and then so his shirt. 
Well, we'll do his jacket first, because that's easier to see. And then we'll do the shirt inside. So we do a line down like this. Collar of his jacket comes down. Do the same on the other side. Comes down like that. This one comes down off my page. This one comes down off my page. Um, and then this comes back up. Comes around for the lapel of it and back down in there. And a little bit comes back up in there. So now we can see the shirt inside. So, let's see. So we hit the top of this. Just comes to there. And then the shirt is just here. And then it comes down there. It's like following this shape here. And then we the inside of it. Coming down to there, and then a line in there. And then we have the opposite side of that shirt. Comes around, goes around his neck, curves around there. And we can just see the inside of his neck or chief in there. And then we have his shoulder coming off this way. So we just do a bump. And then that military style shoulder pad just here. Two lines and a button. Just in there. Same on the other side. Comes off. Two lines and a button. Just there. And we'll do his lapel and stuff on this side, the collar of his jacket and things. So we'll go from here, curve it around, bring it down. And then this one comes down off my page there. And then it's just a line for his shirt inside also that goes around his neck. Just curves down to there. And then we can just see the top of that that goes in, just in towards that center of his neck there and then just the line there and inside and maybe there's like you could draw some hatching or stuff underneath his neck just to show some some shadow if you wanted of course if you're coloring you could just do the same sort of skin tones different skin tones you put some hatching in here. If you were drawing manga style, uh, maybe just make another frown line just up here. Uh, I'm just I'm just gonna make um, sort of his eyelid just a bit thicker, just here along the bottom. And maybe across here too, just to give him that sort of darker kind of look. Just a line around here. Make this one maybe a little bit longer and thicker, just to give him that sort of, I guess, more sort of a, I don't know, intense sort of look around his eyes that he has. Just making these lines a little bit thicker and longer. Bring this one maybe a bit further. And he has just a sideburn just in here. So it's just like some hairlines just coming down the side of his face. And maybe a little bit here too. So it's all about the eyes with Levi. Trying to get it. They're very particular. Of course, this is dark. All. This is all this will all be colored in dark. line of his mouth just up a bit more 
Yeah, that's a bit better, I think. Dark shadow under there. Of course, you could just do the shadow totally black if you wanted. But there he is, that's the basic idea. Evil Levi, Evi? <laughs> Levi from uh, Attack on Titan. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, share.